Hey friends, today, star, star scorecard, one time I'm going to be able to say that right. Star scorecard, cheat code 5.3a. This cheat code, this teak, is about estimating again, but instead of estimating decimals, it's just estimating to determine solutions. So you're going to estimate and then you're going to add, subtract, multiply, divide. All over the board, you've got to estimate. All right, so... Other vocabulary you're going to have compatible numbers, numbers that function well together. That's a compatible number. Um, you know, two and eight are compatible. You add them together, they equal ten. So it's thing, things like that. Estimate. So anything you can roughly calculate. It's not the exact answer. Roughly calculate or judge. Uh, and then round. Rounding is making a number simpler, but keeping its value close to what it was. So. It's simpler, it's a little easier to use, but the value is still close to the, to the true number, okay? A little less accurate, but easier to use. Estimation language, just like the last video, about a little more, a little less, close to approximately. So number one, Anna pays $618 for six months of music lessons, okay? So 618 for six months. She pays the same amount for each lesson. Which of the following is the best estimate, rounding estimate of the amount Anna pays each month? Well, let's do this. 618 divided by six, because there's six months, right? One, uh, one times six is six, okay? So we'll subtract that, drop the one up. That's zero. Zero times six is zero. Subtract that, one, drop our 18. 18, hmm, that's the exact amount she pays each month. I would say that is about $100. Look at this, 600, 618 rounded to the nearest 100, divided by six is 100. Okay. Five members, five members of the math team at Nielsen Middle School are raising money to go to the state competition. They need between $55 and $80 per person for each day of the trip. Which of the following is a reasonable estimate of the number of the total amount of money they will need for a two-day trip? Whoa. So there's a lot of steps here. They need between $55 and $80 per person. Okay, and there's five members, okay, and it's a two-day trip. So let's do this. Five times two is ten, right? So ten, we just say, so there's ten members on a one-day trip. It's the same. Uh, let's do ten times fifty-five, right? Add our zero. One times five is five. One times five is five. And ten times... $80, one times zero is zero, one times eight, okay, so they need in between these two numbers. So, what do we think? There's only one answer in between. And guys, I wanna show you some of these estimating problems. I didn't estimate anything. I did the literal 10 times 55 and 10 times 80, okay? And if we wanted to, we could have done 5 times 55 and 5 times 80 and then multiplied that number by 2. But you can just multiply the 2 times 5 first. It's fine. Number 3. A delivery truck is carrying 80 televisions and individual boxes. So there's 80 boxes. Each box weighs between 26 and 37 pounds. Which of the following is a reasonable estimate of the total weight of the boxes? Okay, let's, let's do this. What about 80, 26, and 37? We can create a number line. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can just scratch, mark off from each end. Right? Uh, six, 28, 35, 29, 34, 30, 
32. 31 is the middle. So let's just say 30. 80 times 30 this is estimating, and it's simple. These are compatible numbers. 8 times 3 is 24, and we have two zeros. Hmm. Okay. So what is a reasonable estimate for the total weight of the boxes? What is really close to 2,400? 2,500. What is 80 times 31? Let's see. Uh, 0, 80. Okay. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 8 is 24. Look at this. 24, 80. So remember when I said 31 is the middle? 31 times 80 is 24, 80. That's really close to 25. So, here we go. Last question. Last question. Gavin started hiking at 8 a.m. when the temperature was 64 degrees. The temperature rose 17 degrees by noon, then the temperature fell 25 degrees by the time Gavin was, was hiking. So it did this. Right? What was the temperature when Gavin finished hiking? Okay, well, what's 64 plus 17? 11, carry my 1, 6, 7, 8. 81 degrees. Okay. Then... What do we say? 81 minus, then it fell. It rose and it fell. It goes up and then it goes down. Minus 25. Um, 8 minus 5 is 3. Uh, oh. 81, not 18. 7, okay, so 1. 11 minus 5 is 6. 11 minus 5 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. It finished at 56 degrees. In this question, we have to write in our answers. So, guys, I hope this video helped. I will uh, see you next time.